I enjoy the summit over other conferences uh, because it has new information and the presenters are uh, professionals. A lot of them are published, uh, but most, for the most part, they're PhDs and they're doing research and they're, they're coming forward with the different modalities of therapy. And that, that interests me. I have seen a lot of speakers. Uh, Dan Siegel is one of my favorites. Um, William Glasser, I've seen him uh, speak. Uh, again, a lot, of the, a lot of the speakers are published with um, new modalities, and I enjoy them very much. The BFI summits are predictable for expertise. Uh, you get to know the, the other conference goers, and you get to see them once a year. And also the question and answer periods um, are more current and in your work today. What, what's happening with uh, the clients that you're seeing. And you can get your, your answers right away from the speakers. Uh, or be able to commiserate with other professionals in the field. Excellent contacts. Uh, from time to time we'll have a, um, a, a contact sheet uh, where people have given their permission to not only have their names, their names, their numbers, their contact information, their expertise um, amongst our, our colleagues. And that's just an excellent way to get to know people uh, and to rely on other therapists uh, for assistance. I would tell someone who hasn't been to the, the conferences before that it's an excellent value not only in time, but in the talent and information that is shared. Uh, the, the cost is uh, moderate, uh, but the time, uh, the time spent is excellent, as well as, uh, again, the speakers, the staff of BFI just knocks it out every time. Uh, if we need something, just ask for it. If you don't know where something is or how things work, just ask and they're always there. And they're always open to ideas of how about next year, let's have a speaker on whatever. Uh, so that kind of rounds it out.